tell us your opinion about today's farmer's market? Well, I'm dropping my niece off. She's a freshman, and I walked by, and I was like, oh my gosh, they have a farmer's market. So I've gotten tomatoes and cucumbers already, and I'm coming back for some eggplant. Good. Thank you. <laughs> I think um, the biggest attraction for me is all the, all the folks that attend, the possibility to interact with the community, with the farmers, then have the students and faculty there as well. We were able to set up a table, had a lot of folks to um, approach our table, ask questions, so it was really, really enjoyable. And all the food and all the interactions, of course we got to take food as well. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm alumnus of VSU, class of 1994. They're supporting the agriculture department at the farmer's market. Great produce, nice and fresh, beautiful products. Happy to support the university and the agricultural program. I see that you're buying a, a turmeric plant, huh? Yes, sir. What do you yes, need about turmeric? Oh, I like indoor plants, so I like different plants. I have them all over my house. So I saw plants, and this is what drew me over here. Okay, do you know the benefits of health benefit of the turmeric? No, that's why I was going to grab this. I know I can never find it in stores when I'm cooking, so this often helps. And what do you think about today's farmer's market? It's cute, it's cute, it's cute. I haven't seen it out here before, but I'll definitely swing back by. Okay, are you a new student here? No, I'm a graduate student. Very good. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, tell us, you tell me a little bit about your impression of the farmer's market. I love it. This is Randolph Farm. I love it. Uh, the tomatoes, peppers, and I'm interested in trying something new, that um, turmeric plant. I'm one what? Are you going to buy a turmeric plant today? I want to see what I can do with it. Good. I'm so very proud of the farmer's market and thank you. I came with my money to make some purchases, but it also looks very nice and I think it's great visibility for what we do in agriculture uh, across campus. Seems like everybody's engaged and excited and so am I. So um, very proud and thank you. These berries look good. <laughs> they, don't, they don't taste like food line, they taste homegrown. Can you tell us a little bit about your farmer's market? I see that you're buying a few berries. Uh, yeah, I'm getting some berries, you know, I'm trying to eat right, you know what I'm saying? Get a good diet. So I'm going to the farmer's market today at BSU. Thanks. Hi, my name is Beverly, and my husband is on the list for the uh, produce at Virginia State's farm. And uh, this year it's wonderful, and we've had it in the past, and we always enjoy the fresh fruit and, and berries. and. We also get to talk to people and meet people, so it's just a fantastic way to stay close to nature and close to people. So thank you very much for this opportunity. Well, the vegetables are fresh, and I love the eggplants, and the prices are terrific. Show, show us one of those eggplants. <laughs> I love this farmer's market. I'm so excited. I've been here for a couple of years now, and this is the first time we've had anything on this campus. Close to fresh fruit, fresh everything. This is so exciting. I love it. Good to have you, Jess. Thank you. We are featuring the better melon today. If you'd what like is to try it? one. It's actually um, a, a wonderful, a wonderful fruit, and it's um, it's it's got a bitter taste, but it's very good for your health, um, especially it, it's. There's a lot of studies about it being good for diabetes. And I'm a diabetic, but how do you cook it or eat it? right here. It? Which one um, is that? This is how to prepare it. But the easiest way is to, like you were sampling this today, is to make it into a, a put it on your favorite um, pizza, the frozen pizza. But if you're not ready for it, it's okay. And then also you can make a smoothie. Now I do smoothies. And this one is so, with fresh peaches. So. This is with fresh peaches? Yes, uh, fresh peaches are frozen, a little bit of fresh ginger. Um, you can use your chosen sweetener. Um, usually I use um, pure maple syrup, but you can use stevia. And then a cup of ice and blend it. Your pizza is delicious. I love it. Really great. What is it called? Bitter Mellow Pizza. Better melon pizza. Pizza, yes, it is very good. So tell me a little bit about the bitter melon pizza that you try. Smack it. <laughs> bitter. Gets the job done though. Tim's you are enjoying that bitter melon pizza <laughs> sample. Tell us a little bit about that. This is very, very good. Mm. Mm. Who made that? Start 
Dr. Robbie made it. Oh, you made it. Especially for me. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, it's good. Okay.